What is going on? My name is Leezy the Gifted, if you have not seen me before, and I'm going to break down for you how I made my newest song, Do Me Wrong, all right? So first things first, we're gonna start out by showing you the first instrument, the little chord progression here, uh, and basically what I did. So, that's how it starts. Now, I have this tool that I bought. It's called the Unison MIDI Audio Pack. Big time cheat code. Shh, don't tell my piano teacher. Um, but basically, you can drag chord progressions into your DAW and whatever instrument, it'll just play it. The reason I use this is because sometimes I need a little bit of inspiration to kind of help me get started with songs. So anyway, that's where this, um, and then I took whatever it was and reversed it. So this is basically a reverse melody, okay? Um, then we've got a little guitar. Right, this I played. And then we have this other third instrument. Which I actually added later. It's one of my favorite instruments in here. Right? Cool, and then in the verses, actually I'll, I'll break down the hook, I'll break down the hook for you, so boom. Now, to me, what I love a lot about this song is the drums. The reason I love, so I got these drums from Splice, if you're a music producer, you should go use splice.com, it's eight bucks a month and you can get a bunch of different sounds. But really, really big time producers will actually upload sounds and drums onto Splice and you can download them. So. These drums are all from Murda Beats, and what did he produce? He's produced a lot of big songs, and I, any anytime you hear in a song, Murda on the beat, so it's not nice, that's this guy, Murda Beats. I'm gonna break these drums down, start with the kick, pretty solid kick, 808. Mm, mm, mm. Now, one of the toughest things for me has always been the relationship between the kick and 808, and I feel like with this song, I feel really good about how I did that. Got the hi-hats and the clap, right? So boom, all together, here's how the instrumental sounds for the hook. Vegan cookies. Shout out my dad. <laughs> all right, we're gonna break down the verse. So I added a little extra instrument in here different instrument than a new one well wavy instruments and then this instrument which was from the hook comes back in so basically what I was trying to do here was add different moments and different like melodic layers what's tough I mean it has been tough for me is one of the toughest parts of mixing for me is that finding that balance of all the different instruments and making sure that you know what should be heard and what doesn't need to be as prevalent. So for this song, there's a lot of different melodies going on and I love all of them, but I had to pick which ones you could really hear and which ones you couldn't. And I think when it comes to melodies, you wanna blend them together to make like one sound. Like the way I think of it is like, some instruments are like standalone, like that's an instrument you wanna hear. But then other instruments, maybe you put two or three of them and like mix them together, meaning like you're not gonna hear one or the other more than the other ones, you're just gonna kinda blend them together. I hope that makes sense. So that's kinda how I did that. Um, now I wanna break down the way I did the hook. Vocally. The first main one was, I wasn't saying the line all the way, like I was saying, I won't let you do me wrong, boom. And I would stop, like, I won't let you do me wrong. See how it would stop? I won't let you do me wrong. Stop. Put everything in every song. And it's crazy, I was actually going to just stick with that. Like, I wasn't gonna have any doubles, but then I had harmonies come in. Listen to how the harmonies go. I say the words longer. I won't let you do me wrong. Put everything in I kinda say them a little bit differently, too. See, with harmonies, or, or layers, whatever you want to call them, you kind of want to do stuff a little bit differently just so it adds a little bit of layers. Now we have some deep vocals. I won't let you do me wrong, put everything in every song. 
I'm gonna be a hundred thousand. I don't even really love the way those sound, but <laughs> it just adds a little bit of vibration to the song. Cool. Then we have some ad libs. I won't let you do me wrong. Do me wrong. That right there to me is what separates the hook. Right there. Do me wrong. Like that's the dopest. Ugh. Do me wrong. Captain Underpants approves of those. Every song. That makes the hook dope. So let's just hear how the hook vocals sound. I won't let you do me wrong. Do me wrong. Put everything in every song. All together. I won't let you do me wrong. Do me and of course, wrong. I wanted to have the drums wait in the beginning and then they drop. Can't wait for you. You take too long. I'll admit when I'm not strong. And it's coming in. I won't let you do me wrong. Okay, cool. So that's that verse. I have verse coming in. I can admit when I'm not strong. I don't know why you always do me wrong. Why you think you got Now, I got some auto tune on here. So, what I've been trying to do is I'm always trying to do different stuff, right? I'm always trying to reinvent myself. And when you're a fully self-producing artist like myself where I do the entire like you guys know, I make the entire beat. I made this whole beat, record the vocals, write all the lyrics, mix it and master it. It's great because there's all these different opportunities for me to reinvent myself. I can try a new trick in the mixing. I try a new trick with the beat. I can try a new trick. Like, I tried new drums, right? That unison MIDI audio thing, That was a, this was the first time I used that. So with vocals, I'm usually a straight rapper where I rap with not a lot of melodies. But for this song, I was like, man, let me just try rapping with melodies. So everything you got look good except you only like I could have said everything you got look good except you only look good from the neck down I could have said that but I said everything you got look good at yeah you know what I'm saying so look good from the neck down can't used to be let down and I try to create moments in the verses little harmonies right bam you know what I'm saying so oh I want to break down what I did in the third hook too before I go all the way deep in it third hook I started off as just this one hook layer. I won't let you do me wrong. So there's no background vocals except for the ad libs will come in as a response. So listen to it. I won't let you do me wrong. Do me wrong. So there's space. And obviously there's no drums in this part as well. And I wanted it to have that vibe of like something's about to come back and then the drums will come in a second. I won't let you do me wrong. Do me wrong. 